Hi, I'm Cecil Bothwell. I serve on the Asheville City Council here in Western North Carolina, and I've been a longtime advocate for the growing and use of industrial hemp. It's seemed to me for decades now that the U.S. has been really stupid in its policies about hemp, all emanating from relatively stupid policies concerning marijuana, which is an associated plant, but of course not the same plant. And and that distinction is one of the problems that we've had in our laws. Industrial hemp was well on its way to being a major crop in the United States at the turn of the 1800s to 1900s. Some new machinery had been invented for harvesting and processing the plant. Uh, Henry Ford was heavily invested into it. There, there was a lot of movement toward the use of industrial hemp, both for its fiber, for its seed, for the oil. A lot of good reasons to do that. And and opposition blew up because uh, Randolph Hearst, who owned the biggest newspaper chain in America, was heavily invested in forest products, and he didn't want competition for paper. Along the way, um, I, I used to slam poetry in, uh, in what they call poetry slams, poetry contests, and in 1992, I wrote a poem that included, it was talking about drug policy generally, and one of the verses involved him. It was... Uh, and I, I conflate marijuana and hemp in this, but that's because of the, the nature of the poem. Marijuana grows like an adolescent child. It's a worldwide weed, kind of rangy and wild. When Uncle Sam decided we should grow it for fiber, it spread across the country like a prairie fire. Oil for ink and paint from the seeds, more paper per acre than pulpwood from trees, cloth cheaper than cotton, and stronger and cool. A scapegoat to blame when kids drop out of school. An aid after chemo to treat carcinoma. A tonic for asthma. A cure for glaucoma. Give you a rush, make you move so damn fast. Yeah. Make you so lazy you just listen to jazz. Groove you to tune to the moon and the stars. Make you see the world through thick iron bars. Pages for Bibles, a rope for a noose. You got the used, the user, and the use. Um, I think there's a lot of truths that I mentioned in there. And, and when you separate out the, the marijuana arguments from the hemp arguments, they're really, they're really powerful. It does create more paper pulp per acre than, than forests do. And it's much better for... for Cloth, not only is it stronger and cheaper, it, you don't need the pesticide application. Cotton uses, over half the pesticides used in America are sprayed on cotton crops. So we're poisoning our environment to use cotton when we could choose not to poison our environment and use hemp clothing. So there's all these different levels at which hemp makes sense. And the reason that the America is the largest importer of industrial hemp in the world is because it makes so much sense. We are using industrial hemp in big ways in this country, but our farmers are not permitted to grow it. I mentioned in that poem that when Uncle Sam decided to use it for fiber, well, in the 1700s, 1800s, farmers were encouraged to grow hemp. Uh, they needed rope, in particular, for the Navy, for the U.S. Navy. And therefore, you know, we, we wanted the farmers out there, out there growing it. And that's part of the reason why all the technology was being developed. Well, in addition to Hearst, who uh, didn't want competition for his newspapers, the DuPont Corporation didn't want competition for its oil products, including nylon rope, that they wanted to sell to the Navy. So DuPont jumped on board and started fighting the use of hemp. Along came all of the scare stories about marijuana, again conflating the two, marijuana and hemp, and we ended up with prohibition that has lasted to this day. It seems pretty, pretty nuts that, that this product that has so many uses uh, in, in this construction industry to make things like hempcrete uh, is illegal. I mean, it, it just, it makes, it has, there's no sense to it at all considering that. Industrial hemp, anyone who's had any dealings with it knows that you can't get high smoking industrial hemp. You'll get sick, you'll, you'll, you'll smoke till you choke, but it's not a drug. It's a, it's a farm product. So I've been a big booster of it. I think it could be a great economic engine for our region. North Carolina could grow enough of this stuff to supply the country if we wanted to, if we chose to make it legal here. We have a, a burgeoning industry here in terms of hemp, hemp creek construction. We have health food stores that are already selling uh, imported hemp seed cakes, hemp oil. Uh, I use shampoos that are made from hemp, hemp oil. A lot of products. There's there's hemp clothing that's being sold by some of the organic stores around town and around the region. 
And so to me it makes just economic sense that it's time to do this, time, time to make the move to industrial hemp. And uh, everywhere I can, every chance I get, I advocate for that. And I'd like to see you help me get that done. Thanks.